Hi, welcome to Born Call In. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, and tonight's the night if you have questions to call in. The way it works is it's, we have a woman here who's going to present a topic, and, and if you have any question, you call in, and Diane writes a question down and gets it to us. If it gets too late in the show and you have a question, you can still call in, and Diane will write, the call, you know, write your question down, and we'll get the answer for you, and we'll get it to you. We'll call you tomorrow with the answer. That, that's how quick you'll get it. So uh, I'm here tonight with uh, Jane Otis, and, and Jane Otis is associated with Food to Farm, like a farm to farm to table, actually. Farm to table. Farm to table, and uh, it's a new new program, mm -hmm. and it's it's sponsored by the Massachusetts Military Support Foundation, and. Uh, I'd really like you to tell us a lot about it because I, I don't know too much about it. Okay. Well, I'm here to tell you about it. Thank How's you. that? Thank yeah. you for uh, allowing me this time. Um, Mass Military Support Foundation was founded to support military. But then during the government shutdown a few years ago and now with COVID, they shifted gears and they opened pretty much all of their programs to the general public. If you need a coat if you need housing help, if, you, if you're hungry. And, you know, people get subsidies, they get some help, but it's not enough. So I was at a meeting, and um, this fellow from Down Cape said, we do it in East Ham at the Elks Club. We deliver these 32-pound boxes of food, and we do it at the Hyannis Transportation Center. But there's nothing in the Upper Cape. I need a captain. So, you know, the, typical. The room goes silent. Yep. Up goes the hand. I love my community. I love to help people. So I said, what do you need? He said, we need a parking lot and we need volunteers. There's no packing of the food. The truck shows up and voila, people show up. It's a contactless sport. We like people to either um, register online and it's just your name, your address, an email. And if they don't have access to that, they can call. Order one box of food, your household may need two. Your household may need four. So the next morning, I call the superintendent of schools, and I tell her what I want. I want to use the parking lot at the high school. Easy in, easy out. She was doing cartwheels, I think. Um, she was so happy to get something like this into our community. So uh, then I said, now I need bodies. I need people to come and get it off the truck uh, and put it in the back seat or put it in the trunk. So because I'm a community person, I called the Republican Town Committee, the Sandwich Born Lions Club, the Falmouth Lions Club, and the Boy Scouts. And the Boy Scouts hooked me up with mass maritime because the cadets need to do community service. So on Mondays, we never know how many we're going to serve and we don't know how many volunteers we're going to have. But we get out there in the freezing cold this past Monday and we have fun. Um, it's community meeting new community. You've got, we've got kids, we've got older. We just have a great time. What time does it start? Starts at 10 o'clock in the morning, and you drive in, you pull up, someone in a mask goes to your car window and says, have you registered? Pretty much everybody's registered, and they either show you it, the form on their phone, or they actually have a piece of paper. And then they call over to us, somebody goes and opens the door, somebody puts it in the back, have a good day. Wow. And it's till noon. And we stay until the last gun is fired. You know, the first 45 minutes or so is car after car after car, but um, then it peters off a little bit. But um, Don Cox, who has been around a long time, is the one who got this started. And now part of our town is represented by Stephen Zaros, 
Representative Stephen Zaros. His son was killed in Afghanistan, so he has gotten involved in a lot of military type things. Yeah. This is one of them. Yeah, I, I saw, I've seen it on Facebook. I have never actually came and gotten food. But oh, I, come. I, 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 come and see. I, I, would, I would love to come and see how the operation works. But Please. Th this Monday, it was so cold. <laughs> it was so cold. Like, you guys did it. I'm so proud of you. Okay. I mean, it really. And we it, had fun. It, yeah, but, it, you know, even it the weather cold. didn't stop you. No. And, and people no. who are hungry, well, it doesn't matter. They're cold, but they're hungry. You have 90 people. We did about 90 boxes Monday. So yeah. if those 90 folks showed up, and we were not there because we're cold. Yeah. That's been tough. wrong. I, I agree, and I really applaud you for doing it. it That's was, wrong. It was a really tough day. Hopefully this Monday will be better. I hope so. You know, and, but, you know, we're going to have a lot of wet Mondays and a lot of rainy Mondays. But, you know, you guys will be there. And this we is will really be there. a wonderful thing for the community. We'll be there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, we sent out invitations or announcements to all of the housing authorities on the Cape. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they'll share it with their um, residents. Um, I live at the Cody School, and I came in with a box one Monday to give yeah. away, and the resident services manager said, what are you doing? So now she has got, and there we have people in all kinds of places that don't have a computer, don't have anything but a flip phone, or no phone. So Monica has been registering people. And then she s comes over and picks up 10 boxes. Yeah, you know, there's people that still have dial phones. Uh, well, and, you know, that's not you. Many. That's you. Yeah, me. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> actually, people do. And, and, yeah, they do. You know, and, and you don't, it, there's no star 69 or anything on them. They're no. just phones. That's it. That's right. They don't have computers. They don't have some, there's still party lines in town. I mean, this. You, really? There, yeah, there's still party lines in board. Not many, but there's still. So, you know, yeah, it's different. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> so, you know, y you've got to cover the whole spectrum. I think you guys are doing it, you know? Well, we're trying. We yeah. are trying. And uh, as I said, it was originally for military, but then, you know, all the cards were on the table. Everybody needs some help. And Dawn is, you know, really um, into that. And we have great sponsors. Yeah, who do you have Every, for sponsors? Could you tell us some sponsors? I sure can. Every sport network in Massachusetts, Celtics, Bruins, uh, the Revolution, um, all of them really? contribute. Yeah. Uh, the Patriots, Patriots we yeah. get, uh, do a lot over there. Yeah. He's very good. Um, a couple of banks, Cape Cod Five, and I forget the other bank. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of foundations that are involved. Um, and now, you know, once you volunteer, you know. I do know. <laughs> you know. That now they're going to ask more. Yeah. Oh, we have a question. Yeah, we do. Um, what, what, what is in a box, basically, you know, for good food question. products? Very good question. Um, for an example, there might be a bag of frozen chicken legs that have barbecue sauce on them or... Um, taco sauce of some sort, uh, yogurt, a big quart of yogurt, a gallon of milk, a bag of potatoes, which is your farm stuff, uh, onions, carrots, cottage cheese sometimes, parmesan cheese sometimes. Um, every week is different. Um, I love yogurt. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you know, and you know, as, as, a, as the season goes along, you can add different fruits Absolutely. to the yogurt and things like that. It's just... Yep. And so, oh, Stop and Shop and Shaw's are supporters. Yeah. So the trucks, when they're coming onto the Cape, stop at Shaw's and, and Stop and Shop and get the day-old bread, the day-old pastries. We yeah. were giving out a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff yesterday. Cakes, cupcakes. Yeah. You know, everybody's got a sweet tooth, um, and everybody needs a loaf of bread. Yeah. So um that's your typical box, a protein, a couple of proteins, yeah. dairy products, and the fresh vegetables. Yeah, and something for kids. Exactly. Yeah, you know, that's really good. Yeah. So what, what size family would a box normally serve? You know, would it serve three it, people maybe? It might, yeah. I would say it might do three people, but I think that if I would get two. Yeah. Um, so if you're a bigger family, you can oh, ask for two can, boxes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
and the, and the questions are basic. You know, your name, address, telephone. Do you have pets? Because we worry about who's feeding the pets. Yeah. You know, if I go to the market and I have ten dollars, am I going to buy groceries for my family? What's going to feed my pet? Yeah. You know, it's kind of like the decision: Do I get my prescription, or do I buy food? Yeah. You know, and that happens every single day in our country. Yeah, more often than most people realize. Oh, you know, and, I and mean, a lot of us don't realize how fortunate we are. Exactly. You know. I, exactly. You know, I, I've got this far without taking any medication, so I'm pretty good. But it must be the yogurt. It must be the yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it's just it's one of those things. It's kind of the luck of the you. draw. But yeah, it, it's yeah. and the seafood. Probably a lot of seafood. Uh, you know, yeah, we, we do. Yeah. Eat, we do eat a lot of seafood. But and that's uh, not a bad thing. No, it's a good thing, and it's cheap too because you just go out and dig it. <laughs> I mean, where, where, where can you live? That you know, <laughs> you know. We don't have to go hunting. We just can go dig clams. We can get scallops. We can get oysters. Mm. In this town, all the time. You know, right. You can get scallops during scallop season, oysters, and then there's clams and quahogs for all the, the summer. Time. All the time. And they're yeah. really good. So, and, you know, what's better than that? <laughs> you know, they, you know, you know when pretty I, cool. I, on the occasion when I go out to get something to eat, um, and it's a seafood restaurant, and people order a burger, I'm like, what yeah, are you what thinking? Are you doing? Yeah. You're here to eat seafood. Um, I don't think we'll see seafood in these boxes because it's such a perishable item. Um, that and, and the, there's an issue with public health on giving away seafood. Oh, there is. Yeah, it's oh. hard. Even fishermen have tried to donate. Yeah. A lot of fishermen, bass fishermen, lobster fishermen, clam fishermen, try to donate food to the food pantry. It's mm -hmm. not allowed because they need traceability and it has to go through a dealer. And so you have to sell it to a dealer. It has to be the traceability, and then it has to go to the food pantry. And it just got so complicated, they don't, they don't, don't want to do anymore. it. Yeah, I don't blame them. And we used to, you know, them. when I was young, we would just, to, for the seniors particularly, for all the picnics and all their stuff, we would always give them clams. I mean, there was, this town was crazy with clams. Yeah, well, you know? well and, we're and surrounded by them. Yeah. So, you know, and people Why might them. eat them? You know, and they had picnics and had them. It was a lot of fun. Of course it but, was. Uh, of course but, uh, it was. There's an awful lot of, even this year alone, there were hundreds of people oystering almost every really? Sunday. Yeah. Because of the COVID thing, people haven't been able to get out. But to get out and go shellfishing all winter long, people go. And, of course, then they eat them too. Or they give them to their neighbors. Right. They, you know, it's really, it's a good yeah. town for that. But this, yeah. This I think is this is going to be just basic protein. Yeah, but Chicken. that's really good. Beef. Yeah. One week there was a two pound bag of like taco meat. It looked like scrambled hamburg to me. So you could take it home and add on add onions, mm -hmm. which you're given. Um, fry up some potatoes. Uh, maybe throw a can of tomatoes in there if you have it. Barbecue sauce and bingo. Throw yeah. some relish. You got sloppy joes. Yeah. There's no there's no problem with all that food you mentioned. It's it's not 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 like it's not like fish. No, 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 can no, be a no, problem. no, no. And the trucks are refrigerated. Yeah. Um, so now what they're doing is picking up our allotment. Mm -hmm. And then from us, they go, they change the time in East Ham because both days are Monday. Yeah. Um, but now Hyannis is doing at the transportation center over 200 people, which is not a lot when yeah, you think I, about Hyannis. I think after the show, you'll probably have over 100 people. You, oh, I think that would be great. More, you know? Come and see us. And, we'll and, have and the way this, this, this particular call-in show works is it's aired several times during the week. It's not right. just, it's live right now, but as we move forward, they, it repeats. They, it repeats, and I think you'll find, uh, particularly now, you know, there's a lot of young families that it's really tough for them, and, and it's really tough. I wouldn't want to, you know, Diane and I had eight kids. You know, we used to struggle sometimes. That's right. You know, but people are making a lot of choices today yeah, you have that to. they never had to make. Yeah, or you made them unconsciously. You might have might have made them unconsciously. You know, like you said about the dog food. You know, with eight kids, the dogs just sit under the table and wait. You know, <laughs> see what comes yeah, by. Yeah. You know, but uh, I had a patient once, and he got meals on wheels, and he said, "I'm not eating that. Have you ever eaten that?" And I said, "No." He said, "It's like cardboard." And I said to him, so what are you doing with it? Yeah. It's my dog food. Yeah, it's too bad. It really is too bad because Meals on Wheels is a real good program. But it and wasn't you know, palatable for him. Yeah. So he chose to feed the dog and use the money to buy something else. Yeah. 
Well, that's, that's fine. That worked for him. Yeah, I think there's a there's a lot of good social programs like like this program. Oh, this is fun. This is yeah. huge. This is huge. Meals on Wheels yeah. is huge. Any anything that helps people get get through it, and especially this time, this is not any like anything in our lives. I don't think, you know. And you know, the people that you'll meet at the, these events can help you with another problem. You know, if you if you choose to yeah. share it, yeah, we may have a lead for you to get to this group or to that group. Yep. So I think part of the message is you're not alone out there in the world. Yeah. We just need to talk to each other. We just need to ask. Yeah, when I heard you say the Lions Club, the Lions Club is another big group who right. really right. you know, promotes that, that sort of thing. They, they really are oh, always when I, to help people, I, always. When I called them, yeah. immediately. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. They would never say no. You know, you get good group groups involved, good people. I, you know, and I'm sure. I'm sure when you called the school and, and spoke with the superintendent, she was just, like you said, doing cartwheels. She yeah. had to be thrilled because right, community interaction right now more than ever is really important. It's not. It really is. It, it just is important right now. And then a fellow came over. I think he's involved in the buildings. I, I had to sign a form online. Geist. I have no idea. Uh, and he came over to see what we were doing, and we gave him one of these flyers, yeah. which is a pretty basic flyer. And we said to him, "Is how do you communicate with your parents in your schools? And he said, well, you know, various and sundry ways. I said, then slip this in. Or if you do an email, scan yeah. this yeah, and send it. Yeah, they do e-blasts and things so, like that. Um, we're trying every, if you give us an idea, We'll yeah. try it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not a big guy with ideas. <laughs> I could plan though for a long-term thing, but right. you know. It, well, come some yeah. Monday and I have will fun come. with I'd like us. to see it. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe this Monday. I just okay. like to see how it works. I, I'm not looking for a box of food. No, but, but you can but come. You know, I'd love to put them in people's cars. There you I, go. I got no problem helping. Make people and, smile. Uh, yeah. And, and you, know, you know, someone said to me, "It amazes me that you go out in public. You know, well, I miss seeing people smile." I said, look at their eyes. Yeah. Your eyes are your window of your soul, and you can see a smile on everybody's face that comes to our lot. I'm, I'm absolutely sure. I, I really am. So can we review how to register for a box? Sure. Um, if you are not computer savvy or you don't have a computer at all, get your pencil. 617-843-8800. Seven, seven, seven. Or, get, if you are computer savvy, get on MSFI. MMS, yeah. Right there, dog Yes. Dog. And that will get you to the cover page. And then if it says you want, you kind of scroll, once you, if you're a veteran, you hit the veterans button and it will take you to a veterans registration because they do ask if you are in the service mm -hmm. or active or not. And then um, farm to table, yeah. there's a button. Fill it in, bingo. They send you a receipt on your phone or on your Kindle or your iPad, or you can print it if you happen to have a printer. Mm -hmm. um, and show up and we'll give you a smile and a box of food. That, that'd be really wonderful, especially you know, there's a lot of seniors in this town also oh. who would really benefit yeah, from this. And, you know, it's not a, it's, 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 it's not charity. This is to help people who need help. This is what it is. And, that's you right. know, if, if you don't go hungry, th no. just don't. Just ask. Don't. Just ask. Remember it's that three-letter word, yeah. ask. And nobody's looking for anything. Nope. It's just to help you. And, and you know, that happens now and then. Everywhere yeah, in this country it yes, happens. It and that's what makes this country great. It really is. I mean, you know, we have a lot of huge issues, but you know what? We get through it, and we help each other. If we remember the basics, and the basics yeah. are, you know, to take care of yourself and then take care of your neighbor yeah. or your sister or your brother or whoever, yeah. that's how we get through it. Yeah, my brother loves to take care of me, you know? <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he takes me off for coffee a couple of times a week, buys me a donut. What's better than that? You know, he's a good I, man. Took me, to, took me to Middle Bar the other day for ice cream. I ain't wow. Me, you know? He but is a nice guy. He is. He is a good guy, you know. But uh, and, and sometimes he's on this show. Sometimes he's a, tonight he's not here. 
but uh, he's uh -oh. pretty special. Okay, so now I, I've got another question. Oh, this okay. is good. Okay, how long will the project be in Bourne? It's forever. Forever. Yeah. Wow, that, that'd be good. If it gets too complicated when the school's open, she, uh, the superintendent, has promised us that she'll just move us maybe over to the middle school parking lot because where we are now is where the students that have cars park. Yeah. You know, that first lot. We know. We've got granddaughters that go yeah. to school. Yeah. So <laughs> she said, we're never going to throw you off of school property. We'll just move you. Because yeah. we thought of Gallo, traffic nightmare, yeah. getting in and out of there. We thought of the tech, traffic nightmare. And that's why we came up with the high school. Yeah, this, is a, this is really a good part of town, and it's easily accessible. There's not a lot of traffic, like you said, and, and people know where it is. Right. You know, mo most people know you. And you come in one road from where the old Col Cody School was. Yep. You come in that way, and you, you go out down on Waterhouse Road, and you can go to Katama, to Miami Beach, or back to Buzzers Bay. Right. It's really not complicated at all. It's pretty good. It, yeah, it's a good site. And, and she's, you know, willing to work with us, which is the key. Yeah. You so know. you just come up, and once you pass the high school, you look for the big truck. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. all you have to do. When That's you right. drive in here, you just look for and the big truck. And we have cones truck. that, that kind of tell huh? people. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, orange cones to kind of keep them in line. Yeah. And uh, phew, right out. Wow. They go right down the hill, and they're gone. All right, so you come, o come over the bridge, or you come down, and you anyway. come down to Katua Road. Where Katua Road is just kind of like right across from Katua Road if you're at the whole old high school and you go up to the new high school and there's always a flashing light there right at the end here that says entrance only, don't want exit. You'll see the red flashing light, you come right in. Yeah, when it's flashing red though, you're not supposed to go in. I made that yeah. mistake one day. Yeah, you're not supposed it was to come bus in. time. Yeah, the buses are coming in, you're not supposed to Yeah, come it was in. a wait, nightmare. Wait, wait till 10 o'clock, don't come at 9.30, come at 10 o'clock and all the buses will be parked. You come right in and from, from 10 till noon, they'll be here. And, and they're all out in the parking lot in the big truck. That's right. And uh, you never know who's going to be there putting the food out. You just Absolutely. Everybody wears a mask, so you never yep. want to know either. <laughs> and you can wear your mask, and nobody will ever know who you are. And it's right. just like the Lone Ranger. You just take care of you and see you later. You yeah, know? and it's quick. It's a quick process. Yeah. You know, we don't deliver because we just don't have the well, volunteers you have to, for that. You shouldn't have to deliver. Um, it's, it's just a lot of work. I'm sure that, you know, Meals on Wheels, if there are people, they can contact Meals on Wheels and they could pick up a, a box for them and get them to exactly. them. You know, go through the Council on Aging and I'm sure they could set up an arrangement to get boxes for Absolutely. people. If, you, if you're a senior and you're in housing and you would like to get a box but you, you can't get there, can't get there. maybe maybe to call the Council on Aging and ask them if they have somebody who's a volunteer driver who could get it for you. Other than that, I, I really don't know how you'd go about it, but I'm sure the Different, different groups could work just something ask, out. Just ask. Ask your neighbor. Just ask. Ask somebody at church. Yeah, you might even ask the, the, the new people, and, and you might be able right. to put something together. Right. You know, so you could take some food packages over to wherever your housing is. It may be in Picasso or it may be in, in Buzzers Bay, but you, you could get four or five boxes brought to your housing, I'm sure, somehow. The complex, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, yeah. don't be afraid to ask ask those questions and because and, it's – not a bad thing to have fresh food. No. It's, it's no. a good thing. What yep. Yeah. Oh, and, and this led to a woman who's on the base calling me mm -hmm. and saying, I need help. People give her in-kind donations, which would be for military. So they need help to sort toiletries, um, over-the-counter, aspirin, Tylenol, a leave that mm -hmm. people have donated. You know, they're all intact, they yeah. close boxes, but now they need to be sorted. Yeah. Some will go overseas to the guys and girls over mm -hmm. there keeping us safe and happy, and some will go to the families here. Um, but she needs help. So if anybody is willing to do that link, um, call me. Yeah. Do you need other volunteers? I mean, do you need volunteers for here with the trucks? I, I, that, that's a question I have here. Do you need, and do you, how many would you like? <laughs> oh, it's, it, you know, if it gets to be too many volunteers, which is a great thing to have, looking around and saying, oh, you know, they're all kind of standing around. Um, we're, we're thinking of splitting it. So the Lions will do a Monday. Um, the Academy uh, might do an, another Monday. We're going to just split the, the load. 
um, so that you don't have to be there every week. The truck driver and his assistant are going to be there every week. Yep. Uh, the coordinator usually comes. Representative Zaros usually comes. Um, so we never have too many volunteers. We'll never yeah. turn a volunteer away. So is he a representative to any of the villages in this town? Or yeah, sandwich? two, I think. Is he? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm unaware because they, they keep redistricting. I know, I know. I think it's two. Pocasset and Potomac? Yeah. Anyway, okay, yeah. I, okay. I just, I, I'm, I don't really follow that stuff. <laughs> I, you know, and I should. You're following I'm a, the I'm season really, of the I'm clam. I'm really bad politician. <laughs> don't be a politician. You I have know. to be a statesman. No, I'm just a person. But really, yes. I, 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 I think that we're now, I, my state rep in Buzz's Bay is the one from Wayham, the, the woman from Wayham. I oh, think, it is? I think so. Because oh. the section I'm in precinct one, is that right? Yeah, so, and then oh. it, it's all different. It's yeah, it is. really is yeah. unusual. Not that, yeah, and part you know, of us have Representative Vieira yeah. out of Fal yeah. Falmouth yeah. that is our representative. So, yeah, they've yeah, contorted I'm, I'm, the whole thing. Yeah, I, I, yeah. But we don't ask where you're from. We just give you food. I know. Just, and ask you to help. It's, you know, in Bourne, it's got so hard to follow who's... who's well, you've who, got ten little yeah. villages. Yeah. And they're nice little villages. Yeah, they so. are. They all have their yeah. own little characters. They do. They do. I, I get to be a character. <laughs> you know? You're a good character. You're funny. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know... I love trivia. Yeah, well, Bourne, Bourne's a good town. And, it is you know, a good I'm town. I'm really proud of it. It's, it's really diverse. We've got some... You know, Diane and I have lived other places, and Bourne is just as diverse as it's going to get. It's like living in a city, you know. It's just that that diverse, and uh, it's a, it's an interesting. Yeah, but isn't town. that nice? Huh? Every day is a new day. Yeah, you know, you go to dump. It's an adventure. Oh, I love the dump. You know, the dump. You're Bourne not supposed to call it the dump. Though. You're I know. supposed to call it the transfer station. Yeah. Well, regardless, it's an adventure. It is. And, and then when they have Dorothy's open, which it will be again someday. Right. That's another adventure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't we yeah. blessed to have all these great, fun things to do? Yeah. So, again, on, on, on Monday at 10 o'clock, they'll be able to come here and get a box of food. And, right. and, and you're better off to call or, or go to Yeah, the you really need to register because yeah. if, let's say, 100 people register, they send down maybe 110 boxes. Yeah. And 150 people show up, some of which did not register. So we are going to be kind, and we're going to say, look, we'll give you a box this week, but make sure you register next week. We do that too many times. Somebody who registers is not going to get their box, yeah, and I yeah. don't want that to happen. No, that's hard. That really so you is really, hard. we beg you to please call the number or... Yeah, call the number or... What was the number again? Oh, you had I'm it. Sorry. I knew you were going to ask me that. Yeah. 617-843-5777. 5777. Wow, that's that's a lucky number. That I guess. You know, and you got clovers on, too. <laughs> you know, this is St. Patrick's I'm not paying the lottery. Yeah, you know. Nah. No, no, that's all right. I, I don't, I've never won the lottery. Because you never play. I don't play. I'm not yeah, a good, good I'm not, lottery guy. I don't play. You know. Yeah, we, Diane and I gambled enough just going fishing every day. That was a big gamble. <laughs> but you always caught a fish. We always caught something. Okay. You know, even even a cold. Yeah, dinner. Yes, we always ate. It was okay. good. Um, we, we only got one minute left, okay. folks. And, uh, again, mmsfi.org and register. Let them know that you're coming because it's really hard when you're giving stuff away for free. You, you can have a lot of people come, and that's not a problem. But you really have to give them an opportunity, the people who are giving the stuff, give them an opportunity to have a rough count yeah. of how many people they're going to have because it's really awful. Oh, If you show up hot. at 11.30 and they're out of food, it, it really is. And, and they wouldn't be. They, they could bring enough food. Oh, yeah. So just call and register. Don't be shy. It, it's, not, it's not charity, guys. This is food that somebody's going to eat. Yep. So it can be you. Don't be shy. And... You know, it's... I know See you it's, Monday. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll, I'll come oh, over good. Monday. I'll find good. a way to get here, and I'll be here, and I'll put it in your car. And I'm supposed to say goodbye, and uh, I want to thank you.